Hey y'all, Vaughn Twins here. I'm Kiana. And I'm Kenya. And, and welcome, welcome back to our channel. channel. So guys, today we have a long awaited fibroid free update for you guys. You guys have been requesting this for quite some time now. Yes. We stated in a couple of our other fibroid free videos that we talked about that we didn't want to put a update back to back because of course, you have to be able to give your body time to exactly. show you what's happening as a result of what you're putting in it in order to obtain an update. So here we are, we have an update for you guys. Before we get into the video though, we want to just remind you to go on ahead and to subscribe. <laughs> subscribe to our channel guys if you haven't already and also make sure that y'all click that bell. It would help us out tremendously. It would. We are really trying to grow our channel you guys. Yes. And so we love it if you, like Kenya said, turn on your bell so that you'll be notified mm -hmm. any and every time Kenya and I upload a new video. Yeah. Make sure to share this video with all of your family and friends as well guys. Mm -hmm. Guys, we're going to go on ahead and get right on into the video so if you guys are interested in just basically hearing what our update has been about in addition to some new grocery items that we picked up that helps us with our fibroid free diet then yeah, let's get it, it. a let's go okay so we're gonna start out talking about one of the most essential things that you need in order to rid yourself of fibroids mm -hmm. and that is Fibrogen. Fibrogen. I did pick up this Fibrogen, which is basically like a supplement, if you will. I picked it up about three months ago and started taking it. So you fill up one of the droplets, which it only fills up a half halfway mm -hmm. with the actual liquid. But you take it and you put it underneath your tongue. You hold it there for about five, five minutes. minutes. And after the five minutes, you go going ahead and swallow it. And you do want to take this Fibrogen at least like... What? I think the direction says two to three times per day. Now, myself, I have been taking this Fibrogen maybe like once a day. Maybe. You guys, I forget all the time. And I know I'm really, really bad at it. I've been forgetting to take my multivitamins and things like that too. So, that's something that I have to get better at. But, you guys asked for the update and here it is. I started out last year with eight fibroids. I still have eight fibroids and I know that I did an update late last year saying that I still have eight, eight fibroids but it is now October of 2019 and I still have eight fibroids and I actually went and got a ultrasound taken like two days ago and the results came back saying that I still have eight fibroids and so for me that's progress only in the sense that my body is not making any more now Kenya and I also when it got another hormone panel done yes. with our endocrinologist. And for me anyways, he stated that my body is no longer making the bad estrogen. estrogen. Mm -hmm. There's like estroidal and estros, estrogen and estroidal. It's something like that. I don't Which know the bad estrogen terms. versus good estrogen. Yeah, basically. yeah. Because your body needs estrogen, mm -hmm. but it just has to be balanced out with the progesterone. Yeah. So, but my body is no longer making that bad estrogen. Hence is the reason why I still only have eight fibroids and I have not grown any more. You guys, this is a win-win for me. Now, as far as getting rid of the fibroids that I currently have, I think that I'm, I'm going to have to go on a more aggressive plan. Maybe picking up the other supplements on the Hope Beyond Fibroid or Hope... It's called, yeah, Hope Beyond Fibroid website. website. Mm -hmm. I'll make sure to leave all of the information down below. But I am going to have to get more aggressive with that and with the treatment plan. Only thing, you guys, is that, y'all, the supplements are crazy expensive. They're mad they expensive. And Like the Fibrogen was about how much? Like $58 I think it was, or no, something? No, I think it was like $150. Oh, my God. Yeah. Um, and I think it's like a four-ounce bottle or something like that. So it's really, really expensive. And so I'm either going to, you know, pick up more products to take along with that to get more aggressive with my treatment or... I'll just up my dosage and then obviously make sure that I'm being very consistent with taking it. Yeah. So I think that's actually what I'm going to do first before I, you know, buy more stuff because again, it's expensive. When I do that and when I see results from that, rest assured, I am going to come back and let you all know what my results have been, whether if it's for the good or for the bad. You all will be the first to know. 
Do you have okay, an update? So I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys my update. Now, me and Kiana's diets have become different. They started out the same, but they ended up different. The way that my body has responded is a testament to what we both eat. Mm -hmm. So I started out on the fiber free diet, as you guys know. This was at the beginning of the year. I did really, really well, and then I completely fell off. I'm just being 100% honest with you guys. Because it happens, you guys. Because it happens, Your yeah. Your life gets busy, and absolutely. you don't have time to meal prep like you want to. Absolutely, you know? absolutely. And I mean, let's be honest, you know, going on a fibroid-free diet, it takes meal prep every single day. Discipline. It takes time, it takes discipline. You know, you have to make sure that you're turning down, you know, cakes and pies and french fries. <laughs> Jinx. <laughs> Which French fries is our absolute favorite, like it is. Thing but to we eat. have an we have an alternate, right? We do, we do. Have, we have an alternative. However, you know, when you're a working girl and you haven't meal prepped, then what's the next best thing? Chick Fil A. Chick -fil -A. <laughs> <laughs> so with that being said, or Shake Shack, or Shake Shack, right? So with that being said, I went ham, y'all, for about two months. Now I had my hormone panel done, and I also had an ultrasound done at the top of the year. Well, it was like mid year. And I was told that I had four fibroids, which excellent, excellent, excellent. I had, as you guys know, surgery like three years ago now. And at that time they removed about 30 something fibroids. And so afterwards they said I have four fibroids left. Perfect, I can work with four. Well, I had another ultrasound done um, recently and I was told that I have like 12 to 15 fibroids. Now, as I said, as I stated already, I fell off on my fibroid free diet. However, Kiana did not. She remained disciplined and she stuck to it. So again, that's just a testament that if you eat the right things and you make sure that you're disciplined, you won't have to worry about estrogen or, yeah, the bad estrogen continuing to feed off of those, feed into those fibroids and the fibroids continuing to grow. Correct. So guys, I'm getting back on the fibroid free diet and I have made a conscious decision to remain disciplined regardless of the fact that Thanksgiving is right around the corner and Christmas and New Year's as well. Right. There's always going to be something. Birthday parties, holidays, right. there's always going to be something but guys your health comes first and just know that you can do this. You really can. Y'all. Make sure that you have a good support system around you. That's right. And make sure that you are meal prepping. Make sure that you set aside the right amount of time to be able to meal prep so that you can receive the results that you're looking for. Um, so that's our update basically. But then we also wanted to talk to you guys about some grocery items that we've added into our, you know, grocery shopping. Mm, our diet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, our diet or whatnot. These items, guys. Oh my gosh, they've helped us out tremendously. They have. Yeah. Yeah, because it doesn't take a really, really long time to prepare, yes. to prepare stuff any longer. Mm -hmm. Um, what I'm gonna start out with one of the things that Kenya and I have really been loving, 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 loving lately. <laughs> and that is you guys. Purple potato. It is purple potato. Look at how big these things are. Y'all. So y'all, in our area, we're in the Dallas DFW Metroplex. We have a Central Market, and that's where we got these from. Why well, get mine from Whole Foods? Oh, okay, so they can be found at Whole Foods, Central Market. That's those, those are the only two stores that I know of. Um, they're by Frida Stokes, Stokes, Stokes Purple Sweet Purple. Potato. Yeah. And they're organic. And they're purple in the inside as well. Yes. And our fibroid free book by Chef Aki does say that we can eat purple, purple sweet potatoes. potatoes. So yes. that's why we picked these up. They're great, you guys. They're like a superfood, y'all. It is. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. They're so good. Um, you just bake it. Like we literally just we wash it really, really good. Like a sweet potato. You know, we wash it really good. We poke holes in it. We sit it in the oven for about an hour on 425. Mm -hmm. Put it out, eat it. You can eat the skin and everything. Yeah. You guys. So good and so freaking filling. filling. Oh my gosh. Like we I think when we ate these, we had um, it was maybe like six o'clock in the evening, maybe five, six o'clock in the evening. Next day we were still full. Still? I kid you not. Like yeah. I'm for real. But then it wasn't this big like when we had it. Was yeah, it was, it was heavy. It was really tiny. Yeah, it wasn't it was whole. It was tiny. really, really small. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's one of the items that we've been loving lately. And as you know, you can make anything out of sweet out of, out of purple potatoes. You can make French fries. You know, all yeah, that. you can right. make anything. Not frying them though. Make sure you bake them. Um, right. Make sure you <sighs> bake them. Okay, so the next item, guys, is this organic butternut squash soup that I picked up from Trader Joe's. There should be a Trader Joe's in your area. There's a Trader Joe's everywhere from what I know of. Um, this item, it doesn't have to be refrigerated. You can just put it in your pantry, and then once you're ready to make it, all you have to do is pour it into your pot and heat it up. The great thing about this is that it literally has water and organic butternut squash in it. That's it. Like, that's, that's it. And it tastes amazing. 
it tastes amazing so um <laughs> yeah if you're looking for some soup this is one that you want to buy and also if you want something that's going to fill you up a little bit more to eat along with the soup instead of doing saltine crackers because saltine crackers does have wheat and flour in it mm -hmm. go ahead and pick up some blue corn chips blue corn chips yeah guys. we love these mm -hmm. we also got these from trader joe's as y'all can see we went ham on them yes we did so we only got like crumbs left basically yeah. but, but these, these are, are organic the... blue uh -huh. tortilla chips we yeah. love these yes and they are gluten free guys so mm -hmm. they are gluten free yeah but to go along with that if you all want squash spaghetti squash or if you want to make your own um, soup out of squash then go pick up a squash yes <laughs> So squashes can be used for anything. You can literally gut out the inside yes. and put whatever you want to in it and kind of eat it like how they eat uh, peppers, like bell peppers and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Stuff bell peppers. You can eat squashes the same way if you want to or you can gut out the inside and literally make spaghetti out, out of, of it. squash. Um, if you're interested in that, then we'll include a link to a recipe down below for organic butternut squash. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Next item. So to go along with that, because it seems like we have like a little dinner theme that we have going on here. Yeah. Kenya and I have lately been loving the Beyond Meat Beyond yes. Sausage. It's a plant-based sausage. We love the hot Italian one. Now, please do not take our word for this one as far as it being fibroid-free. I don't know yeah. if this is a fibroid-free friendly item. I just know they taste Amazing, you guys. Amazing. Don't, this could be found at Sprouts Whole Foods. Those are the only two places that I know of. Yeah, yeah. Sprouts Kroger, Kroger as Kroger? well. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. And they're actually on sale at Whole Foods right now too. Really? Yeah, they're cheap. Oh like my gosh, I just four or five dollars. Oh one. heck no. This yeah. is like five ninety nine a pack, regular price, and I just got them from Sprouts and paid five ninety nine for two of them. Lord. Yeah. So these are really really good, you guys. Um, again, if somebody knows if this is like a fiber free friendly item or if it isn't please leave your comment down below and educate us as mm -hmm. we are here to help you all yeah let's help each other yeah definitely so but so how i plan to use this i'm throwing it out right now is because i'm gonna make my spaghetti squash tonight mm -hmm. and then i'm just gonna cut this up and put it in there and use it as meat there you it's, go. it's gonna be amazing y'all spaghetti and meatballs made out of plant-based italian sausage and squash right and squash <laughs> Item, please. <laughs> Kenya and I have been loving. Y'all, we've been killing that. Killing <laughs> these organic cocoa aminos. Okay? Yes. Now, let me tell you guys if you all like soy sauce, y'all know that's bad for us. Okay? Right. So, anything soy is bad. Anything soy is bad. So, don't do the soy, just do the, the cocoa aminos. aminos. That can be found at your local grocery store. Mm hmm. It is a seasoning sauce and marinade. It does have a bit of like a sweet taste to it, but when I tell you it's so good and it's guilty free. It is. It's a perfect <laughs> alternative to soy sauce, y'all. Guilt free alternative. Yeah, it's Pick soy it free, up. gluten free, no refined sugars. Mm -hmm. uh, it's vegan, vegan keto, keto friendly, and paleo and friendly. friendly. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. It is wonderful, y'all. Yep. And you can put it on your spaghetti squash if you choose, or you can just make your own actual um, tomato sauce yeah. out of Roma tomatoes yes okay next item please okay so this is another item that kiana and i have been absolutely loving and it is apple butter apple butter guys this one is by the brand it's l delicious. and a yes we picked this up from sprouts i hope y'all have a sprouts in y'all area because we have not been able to find this anywhere else baby but it is so good baby so look the way that we use this baby. is baby Oh. <laughs> I got it. I got it. She still got it. Hey, she, she still got, got it. it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so look, y'all. Instead of using jam on your toast, as you know, Kiana and I we use spelt bread. Mm -hmm. And so whenever I want some toast or whatnot, I will place apple butter on my toast. How do you use it? Oh, I, I use it the same way, the same or way. sometimes I'll make my own pancakes out of spelt flour, and I'll use the apple butter on top of my pancakes. Um, now, this is, I don't know if this is a fibroid-free friendly item, because I don't even know if we can eat apples. I, I don't know. So, you all do your research on that. Don't take my word for this. 
Uh, we just know it's really, really good. And it's literally just apples. Apples, apple juice, concentrate. Oh, evaporated apples, uh -huh. cinnamons, cloves, and then citric acid. And that's it. That's it. And that's one of the things that you want to make sure that you look for when you look on the back of the bottles and read the ingredients. There should only be like four to five ingredients mm -hmm. in them, and that's it. If there's anything on the back of these bottles that you can't pronounce, don't buy it. Right. That, yeah, that's kind of why I wrote a thumb. Mm -hmm. Unless I truly know exactly like what it is. Right. You know, and, and what it's doing to the actual food, if it's some sort of preservative or something like that. Yeah. All right, so we are going to move on. This is a, a mini grocery haul. Yeah. But we're going to move on to some drink items. And one item that Kenya and I love to start our day out with is ginger tea ginger tea and chlorophyll mm -hmm. so the way that we take this guys is we typically will start okay well so we do all three all right so we have vitamin c as well mm -hmm. <laughs> so we start our day out with vitamin c and i actually msm i actually just started taking msm as well y'all if you want a separate video on MSM, if you guys are confused about it, because I was when my mom and Kiana first told me about it, let us know. Let, let Kiana know. know. And, and I'll make the video for you. Because I have not I have not purchased the MSM yet, so I don't really know the full benefits. So many amazing benefits for your body, but we're not going to get into that in this video. But I do include the MSM with the vitamin C, so that's why we brought it up. So there's a little spoon inside of this vitamin C thing here. And um, you literally just take the spoon, you put um, a spoonful of it into four to six ounces of water, and you just drink it. It's important that you get your vitamin C in your body every day because your immune system. Vitamin C, it absolutely, it helps to keep your immune system strong. It aids in your body actually absorbing the iron if you are taking iron supplements. Yeah. So anytime you take iron supplements, you want to make sure that you're taking it with vitamin C. Yeah. Okay, so also, so what we do, right behind the vitamin C, what I typically do is I'll take something called chlorophyll. This one is by the brand Chlorofresh. So, what you do is you take like, well, I, what I do is I take maybe like three tablespoonfuls of the Chlorofresh, I put it in a cup, just like a juice glass or whatever, and then I like take it back every morning and then I chase it with some orange juice because it has a very earthy taste it's green so what chlorophyll does for the body is it is a internal deodorizer guys it also helps to balance out your digestive tract mm -hmm. and it also helps to clean your system mm -hmm. in addition it gives you energy when I tell you that the stuff is amazing that. yes when I tell you that it's amazing it truly 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 is so one of the things that I deal with, that I've dealt with ever since I was young is, y'all, I sweat like crazy. Like, I promise I sweat like a man. We both like sweat we like do. men we do. in the summertime. <laughs> and so, whenever we get to sweating, you know, odor comes out of our, you know, armpits fast. <laughs> but I will say that since I have been vegan, my sweat don't sink like it used to. Very true, y'all. Mm -mm. Very true. Mm -hmm. But what helps with that is the chlorophyll. That's true. Because it's an internal deodorizer. That's true. So we picked this up from Whole Foods. It can also be found at Sprouts. Amazon. And I got mine from I didn't even get this brand. Yeah, yeah and like a Amazon. vitamin shop. Alright. Next, please. Last item, you guys, is protein. It is a protein supplement, you guys. Protein and is this, a must. It is a must. Kenya and I love the brand hemp yeah mm -hmm. and this is the protein mm -hmm. oh this is the protein right here it's actually called organic hemp yeah max protein it's a hemp protein powder and so kenya and i find it very important to, jesus <laughs> kenya and i find it very important to take this after we've come from the gym they yes. always say that like 30 minutes after you're you're done doing like your um weight lifting and things like that um, that you get protein in your system within 30 minutes within 30 minutes after correct mm -hmm. And so this is what we use for our protein and yeah. then it also is like a great Meal replacement in my opinion because it leaves you full cool. <laughs> um, It is unsweetened and what's in here is organic hemp protein Concentrate it says natural oregano extract and that's all that's in here. That's so it. that's it. We yeah, we love it, and we picked this up from Sprouts. Mm -hmm. I think it may have, it might have been about fifteen dollars or something like that. We did just want to share what we've been loving lately with mm -hmm. you all. Make sure that you all share. 
some of the new items that you all have incorporated into your diet down below in the comment section so that we can continue to learn from one another. We also just want to encourage you guys. Again, it doesn't have to be very hard. You really, really, really can do this. Yeah, you can. Just think about the things that you love to eat and then just find, find a, a good, substitute. healthy substitute for yes. it. Exactly. Yes. And meal prep is going to be key mm -hmm. for you guys. If you do not meal prep, I promise you, you are going to fall victim to eating whatever is available. Mm -hmm. Whether it be like chocolate, junk food, chips, whatever. And then you totally taking yourself off of the goal that you're actually trying to accomplish. So you can do it. Like I promise you guys, you can do it. You have to be strong willed about it. Yeah. You have to be very diligent about meal prepping. You have to be very disciplined about what you put in your body, you guys. You have to give yourself that positive self talk mm -hmm. when you don't see things happening. Right. When you go to the doctor and you don't see your fibroids shrinking or what have you, continue to speak positive, you guys. Speak life. Speak life into your body. Make sure that you are winning the stress. Any and every bit of stress out of your body. Make sure that you're exercising. Make sure that you're doing yoga. Make sure that you are meditating. Make sure that you are worshiping. Make sure that you are giving thanks for every single day that you wake up in the morning and you have breath in your body. Yes. Make sure that you are keeping life and, and, and life's obstacles and things in proper perspective. And I promise you, you guys, you will be on your way to becoming fibroid free as well. That's right. Don't forget to pick up that Fibrogen um, or you know any other supplements that you guys find that you feel may help or aid in you all shrinking those fibroids. If you find something other than the resources that Kenya and I are gonna place down below, again, make sure that you share them. But I promise you, you can do it. Like, let's do it together, y'all. You can. So, that is it for this video. Make sure that you subscribe, as we mentioned earlier on in the video, like, and comment and share. Yeah, share, share the video. The video. You, also, if you know anyone else that are dealing with fibroids or having issues or whatnot, go ahead and send them this link. The same way that you guys have found our video and needed to be encouraged in the area of trying to live a fibroid free diet, lifestyle, your friends or other people that you may know are gonna need that encouragement as well. Mm -hmm. They may not know what to pick up when they go to the grocery store, you know? They may not know what type of supplements to take. Go ahead and send them the link to our channel as well as the link to this video so that they can be encouraged the same way that we're encouraging you. So thank you all so much for watching this video and we will see you all at our next one. We love you. Mwah. Bye. Bye.